Hi, I'm Mike, Kilo 3 Delta Oscar, and this week I received two new Beofang radios. I was wanting to pick up a 220 Beofang, and I saw this on, e on eBay, and while searching I found this one that does 20 watts. So today we're going to put them one meters and see how well they really do, and do they live up to what their expectations are. And this is not clickbait, but you want to watch this before you buy one of these radios. Hello and welcome back. So, as you saw in the beginning there, I recently got two Beofangs. So, a little history here. I haven't bought a Beofang in a long time. I was kind of curious what some of the new Beofangs were like. So, I went out and let me show you uh, the Beofangs that I purchased. I bought them off of eBay. This is the first one. It's a tri-band and the tri-band was kind of intentional because we're putting up a 220 repeater and I do have a couple radios that do 220 but only one handheld and it's the Kenwood D-Star radio. It sounds like something a little bit smaller, maybe a little bit more portable. So that's what this was for. Um, I, this is the UVS9 and it says long range and it's a tri-band. So if we scroll to the bottom uh, of this eBay page, you can see down here it says that it is 10 watts. And I'm like, great, it's 10, five more watts than my UV5Rs. So I put that into the cart and looked around for a little bit more and I found this radio. This radio right in the description says 20 watts. And if we scroll to the bottom, it says right here, it is 20 watts. So great, I like to try a 20 watt Beofang, see what it's like. So I put that in my cart, ordered the radios and about a month or so later, got the radios. And that's what I was holding up there before in the beginning of the intro video. So what I wanted to do is check and see, okay, what's really the output on these? Um, you hardly ever get exactly what they tell you. So I'm like, okay, well, we'll, we'll test it. So I put them on a meter and was a little concerned by what I read. Thought, okay, my meter is bad. So I grabbed a different meter and it read something similar. So I'm like, okay, well, um, something has to be wrong. So I went and I grabbed a UV5R, an older UV5R, and also uh, uh, a an 8 watt, and it's like um, BF uh, 8W or something like that. I can't remember what it is. I'll, we'll talk about that when we get through the video. Um, and I put them on the meters, and they came back more like what I was looking for. So, what you're going to see is in the next section as we jump over there is me testing and making sure I'm actually testing it the right way because I was really concerned something was wrong somewhere with my meters or how I was testing um, but we'll walk through uh, the testing and what the outputs are and then when we get done with that we'll we'll do a little breakdown as to what the uh, outputs are in a, in a graph format or a table format so we can talk about them. So let's jump over to me testing them real quick. Okay so I have two, set, two different meters here and we're gonna do this for a reason I'm going to explain why because when I first test these other radios I want to make sure I thought maybe something was wrong with my meters at first so uh, maybe give you a little bit of a hint here. What I want to do is I have two Beofangs here. This is a UV5RA and this is a UV, I'm sorry, BFF8. Supposedly an 8 watt radio and a 5 watt radio. So I'm going to go ahead and connect up my first digital meter, which is the one that I would normally use first. Well, when I first did this, I thought maybe I had something wrong. So I verified with these. So let me go ahead and hook this up. So on the other side, I do have an antenna hooked up to it. So it's a real, a real test. And we're going to go to this first five watt Beofang. Let's go ahead and turn it on. We'll turn the meter on. All right, so here I am on 14652. Can you see the meter? So right now it's zero watts. I'm gonna go ahead and key down. First, let's make sure I got the right power setting. Should do that first for sure. See, it's wrong. So let's go ahead and change this to high. 
so now we're high. Okay, we're going to go ahead and key down again. 3.32, 3.48, it's bouncing around somewhere over the 3.3 range. So actually my um, SWR is a little bit high. So, but there you go, 3.3 watts basically is what it is on two meters. So it's still not, it's not five watts, so right? We're gonna go back to the top and we're going to key down on a uh, different frequency. And we're at 2.71 watts. Let me make sure we're on high again, we're on high. So this radio is putting out about two and a half watts on UHF. So you can see the frequency right there. It doesn't quite match the frequency on the screen. So there's that one. We're gonna go ahead and we'll swap over to this other radio real quick. And this is just to show the meter accuracy between the two. We're gonna show you the numbers from each of the meters anyways, um, just so you can see. They don't exactly match. Um, I'm questioning this one, it hasn't been uh, verified in a while. Okay, we turn this on. So again, this is a eight watt BFHP, uh, BFF8 HP. So I'm going to start out on the two meter band, 14652, five watts, 5.01 watts. Now we're gonna make sure that the power is set to high. Transmit power is high. Okay, so now we're gonna try the Oops. Different frequency in the UHF band. All right, let's check the, again, check the, yeah. So power was low. Hi. Let's try again. 4.2 watts uh, output at UHF. All right, so there's the two different radios. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. And we're going to swap to the other meter. because so I wanna make sure we understand how it's reporting in these two meters. Because these are the two meters we're going to compare with the two new radios. So let's go ahead, get this meter out of the way. And we're gonna go ahead and plug this into the antenna, antenna right here. And we're going to plug the radio. Okay, so this is a meter that used to be on the Wires X node. I got a different meter on there now, just for convenience reasons. But you see, it's a two bar or two uh, arm meter. I'm going to go back to the two meter, and we're on this bottom scale. Can you see the? We're on this bottom scale right here, so it's up to 15 watts on that bottom scale. This is supposed to be an eight watt radio. So five watts right there. That's on two meters, five watt output. We're gonna go to the UHF. And just shy of, well, it's about four and a half watts output. So there we have the uh, eight watt, it's four and a half watt output. Pretty much matches the other, other, the other meter as well. So what we're going to do is go to this other radio Do the same test on this meter. I'm gonna go to 14652. Again, here's the uh, radio and the, the meter. Can you see the meter? Okay. Uh, that's three watts. So at a five watt radio, just shy of three watts. Okay. That's on VHF. And we're gonna go to the... Okay, and this is on UHF. Two and a half watts on a five watt radio. Two and a half watts, right there you go. Alrighty. I want you to notice that the, the batteries on both radios 
are also fully charged. All these radios, the batteries have been charged. Okay, so there we've set the baseline for these meters. We're gonna go grab the first one. This is the tri-band radio that I just got. And I got it for the tri-band capability because we're getting ready to put up a 220 repeater. And I got, I got a few radios that can do it, but the only other handheld I have that can do tri-band is my D, uh, the Kenwood, there's a D, whatever the D-Star one is. So, so here's this radio. This is the tri-band right here. And we're not gonna really test the tri-band at this point. Um, I haven't really been, been pre prepared to do that. So I wanna go ahead and hook up this radio. This is supposedly a 10 watt radio. Let's see what we get. We're gonna, we'll just use this one. I think this would be enough to demonstrate. We know they're accurate, it's accurate enough because both uh, the digital and the analog meter um, are reporting the same thing. Again, you'll see that we are fully charged. We're gonna go over to the two meter, 14652. And here we go with our test. So we've got six watts out of 10 watts. 10 watt radio, six watts being uh, sent out. Let's go over to the UHF. Three and a half watts basically being put out out of a 10 watt radio on UHF. All right, so there's that one. Doesn't quite meet the specs, but the other ones didn't quite meet the specs either. But not, the, on the UHF is not too far off, so it's a few watts off. Now what we're going to do is go to the 20 watt radio. And we're gonna give this a shot. And the one thing I didn't show you, I'm gonna bring it back up here real quick, is that I was on high power. Well, let me make sure I was on high power on both. Menu. High power for that side. And on the two meter side, high power. So it was set for high power. Here's this radio. Turn it on, we'll make sure we're in high power on both sides. Same frequency, so we're gonna to go to menu. High power, so we're gonna check out the other side as well. High power. All right, so here's 14652. This is a 20 watt radio, just a reminder. A key down. I get almost three watts. Nowhere close to 20 watts. With 20 watts, I should be pegging this meter. In fact, just to be safe, I'm gonna to go to the, to the higher power mode. 20 watts is right there above the two. Look at that. This is a scam, right? Let's go try the UHF side now. So now we're on the UHF side. And key down. Okay, I get uh, four and a half watts out of 20. So, here you go. Again, 20 is right here, if I would push this down. Not even getting to, you know, you can see I'm not even getting to five. I'm just trying five. So if you bought this radio for 20 watts, you would be in, and think you're using 20 watts, that's horrible. So here's the other thing. This radio, I almost need to turn my lights off here to show you. Let me do that and make it a little dark. Yep, see now, I'm going to, see how the light's shining through this case right here? This is a super thin plastic case. I mean, it's like total junk. Um, you can see the light that's the backlight of this right here, shining through the case. So you can tell how cheap this case is. So, so basically what I'm trying to say is, uh, I would avoid buying, well this radio, I don't know, 220 how it works, I haven't tried that out. This is a scam. I'm even questioning if it's a real Beofang, the way it feels, it doesn't even feel, so Beofangs don't feel great, they feel like they're cheap, this really feels cheap. Here's the other thing about these two radios, and why I would just stick with the UE5R or one of the 8 series, because these batteries are completely different than every other battery. So this, this radio has an extended battery on it, see the battery extender? I can replace this battery 
with this battery or swap it either way. See how these have three chargers on the back? This is like the UV5R and the UV series. These aren't like that. So you cannot take one of these accessories, the accessories that are everywhere for these type of these type of radios, and use one of these radios. In fact, with these radios, you can't even use the you know, get us out of here. The batteries between the radios. So if you would buy, like I have a whole bunch of spare batteries for Beofangs. I mean a whole bunch, like this and the ones on the back. These are not interchangeable over here and here. So it doesn't fit. So you have to buy a separate battery for each one of these radios. So my, my opinion is this radio is a scam because it's not even close to the five watt uh, radio. Uh, this H8 watt one is not too far off. And the five one's not whole, not too far off either. Kind of what you expect for something like that. Cause you know, I hardly ever get the full, full range out of a radio. But this 20 watts is not even close, not even close. I really truly think this is some company. It might be not, might not even be a Beofang. Um, I know it says it on the front, Beofang, but my guess is it's not a Beofang. It's a knockoff. And I'm kind of questioning if this is even is one as well. If you look at them, they're very similar in design. See the the light there and the speaker and everything. So I don't know what I'm a knockoff. They're both knockoffs. I don't I don't I don't know. So my point is, be careful what you buy. And if you're going to look for one, just go out to Amazon and pick up a UV5R. I mean, these things are have been around forever. They're rock solid. There's all kinds of accessories for them, battery-wise. Uh, if you want an 8-watt eight, eight one, they have the BFF8HP. I would avoid buying things like that look pretty. I mean, it does look pretty. Don't get me wrong. Although it doesn't feel so pretty because it's like a really cheap plastic. But um, anyways. Let's go look at the comparison chart and see how these kind of stack up to each other. And also make sure you take a look in the comments because I have links to these uh, that are on eBay, which is where I got them. And you can avoid avoid them. I'm still considering if I should complain. I mean, I, I bought them to test them. So it's kind of like I don't feel too legit because I kind of bought it to make sure that it was good or bad. And I'm telling you it's good or bad. So um, not a review, but I just want you to be careful that you don't go out and buy them piece of junk. I mean, you buy this radio, I think it's 20 watts and you can get farther with this radio than this radio. So pretty crazy. All right, let's take a look at our final results comparing the power outputs. So we have the UV5R, which is an older radio. It claims to do five watts. On VHF, it puts out 3.3 watts and on UHF, 2.7 watts. Then we have the BF F8HP, which claims to put out eight watts. And it puts out 5 watts on VHF and 4.2 on UHF. Then we have the UVS9 Triband, the new one, the new radios, claims to put out 10 watts. And on VHF, it puts out 6 watts, which is the highest of all the four radios. And on UHF, it puts out 3.5 watts. And then we have the X5 Plus, which claims to do 20 watts, but only puts out 2.9 watts. So just a little more than 10% of what it claims it can do does it actually put out. Kind of sad. And on UHF it puts out 4.5 watts. So there's our comparison and why I would not recommend buying the X5 Plus for sure. Besides what I talked about in the video, it's very cheaply made. Um, at this point, I, I think I might actually make a complaint uh, to the seller. Um, so. Maybe it's a maybe it's a, a bad radio that would give them the chance to make it right. And if so, I will definitely come back and, and clear this up and, and uh, let everybody know that. And with that, our video is complete. So if you could like the video, reach down there and click on the like button, click the subscribe button and the bell right next to it so that you get notified whenever we put out a new episode. And the subscription and the, and the thumbs up are huge help for us since we're a brand new channel. It helps us get YouTube to notice us and put us into the algorithm so other people can find us as well. Have a great one. We'll talk to you next time.